Love what? sugar again. Ah, I have no idea what you just said. <clears throat> there you go. Is that what you sound like? What? Can't all sound like Ryan Reynolds. And besides, I'm not even real. I'm just a crazy manifestation of your thoughts. You really should look into getting some therapy. Luckily for you, I got just the therapy you need. Oh, no, 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 no. I said I wasn't gonna play VGC anymore, and I mean it. Besides, I have a nice adult life now. I don't need Pokemon anymore. Should I get the mega size or the family size? Uh, attention shoppers, strawberries are currently 5% off. Ooh, sales on strawberries? Okay, maybe I can play a few matches, but I haven't played this in years. How am I supposed to get good again? Okay, first of all, when were you ever good to begin with? <laughs> Second, what you need is a training montage. Okay, let's break this down. The chance of precipice blades to double crit is 0.00125% once you factor in the chance to miss. Most normal people would check this as bad luck and move on. But when you play enough VGC, this is a normal reaction. It's okay. You're bound to get unlucky sometimes, but it's not like you can get unlucky all the time, right? One hour later. Two hours later. So much later, the old narrator got tired of waiting and he died. Uh, maybe we should take a. break? I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have played this again. I'm just not good enough. Sure, I've top cut a few events here and there and done well sometimes, but what's the point? I'm just never gonna be good enough to be the very best, to be number one. And it really, really sucks. Hey, I want you to take a look at this. Sure, you might never become the very best, but I think as long as you're having fun and making new friends, you'll always be a winner. You know, you're absolutely right. I've been focusing so much on trying to win that I forgot to just have a good time. Yeah, I think I'm ready to play this again. All right, my opponent has Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Charizard, Groudon, and Lunala. Huh. I definitely want Kyogre for this fight, but I can't lead with it because it's really fast and most Groudons run really slow. So I'm going to lead Dialga and Winsicott and have Kyogre in the back. Uh, I'll have Indeedee for the last one. Psychic Train plus Redirection can be really, really good here. Yeah, I think that could work. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. I couldn't have said it better myself, Frank. The stakes couldn't be any lower. 
The winner of this match will go slightly up on the ladder and will have the bragging rights that comes with beating some random stranger online. Okay, pretty good lead for me, but I really, really want to watch out for this Grim Snarl. If it thunder waves my Dialga, I'm going to have to roll the dice every single turn on whether or not I get a move off. And I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to switch in my Indeedee and I'm going to max rock all this Charizard. If it doesn't have Charty Berry, it's going to take a lot of damage. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. The head-on collision of power versus power. That's right, Frank. Both Charizard and Dialga will Dynamax right away, so we can expect some heavy blows to be traded. Ooh, this light screen will greatly reduce the special damage that this Dialga can do. And here comes the Max Airstream. Whoa, that's tough. But not as tough as this Max Rockfall, which is going to do a lot, uh, some damage to this Charizard. Wow, that's an effective hit. Neither Pokemon is backing down. He has seen that I have Max Rockfall, so it's very likely that he protects this Charizard. So I could read into that and go for a Max Steel Spike into that Grim Snarl. But do I really want to remove the Grim Snarl? I mean, Psychic Terrain is up, so it's not really going to do much. But if he does protect and gets the Spirit Break off into my DD, he might be able to do enough damage to knock it out, or at least allow Charizard to knock it out the next turn. What to do? Maybe just Max Steel Spike. The defense boost would be pretty good. And You're running out of what? time, dude! Oh, sh! And here comes the G-Max Wildfire. It's gonna do a lot of damage to this Ndidi, but more importantly, setting up this residual damage for the next four turns. But here comes the Max Steel Spike. Oh, it was casually cast aside! You're right, Freak. I haven't seen this much damage since my divorce. And you know what rhymes with divorce? Expanding force. <laughs> and it's down! Pretty good turn, all things considered, but I definitely want to bring Winsicott here. I need to get the speed on my side, so I'll Tailwind with Winsicott and Max Whirlwind with this Dialga. That way I can get an attack drop onto this Groudon. Winsicott is going to go for the Tailwind, allowing its team to double its speed. The Max Whirlwind is going to reduce the attack of this Groudon, and more importantly, pick up the ca- Oh, onto this Charizard! Oh, sorry, I got the hiccups there. It goes down after a good fight! Groudon falls up with a Precipice Blade. The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 2. What will the next Pokémon be? And the final Pokemon for the challenger is the Lunala. Thanks to his Shadow Shield ability plus the Light Screen from earlier, it's gonna be almost impossible to knock it out. Uh, I don't know what to do here. This Lunala is definitely gonna set up Trick Room here, but I don't have a way to stop it thanks to that Psychic Terrain that I set up earlier. I know Kyogre can take on Groudon by itself, but uh, I need a way to really weaken this Lunala first. So I'm going to Moonblast and Roar of Time. Lunala will go for uh, Protect. Groudon will go, oh, also go for the Protect. Yes, with both Pokemon protecting, this is a pretty boring turn. So let's cut to today's sponsor, Incineroze. So good, it should be illegal. An intimidating good taste. And now back to the show. And Winscott's going to go for the Moonblast. There's a little damage. And here comes a massive roar of time. Major damage! But here comes the Meteor Beam. Lunala is gonna call upon the powers of space and time itself in order to defeat its opponents and bring down its wrath upon them. In other words, it's a pretty strong attack. Comes the precipice blades. It's gonna knock out this die. Whoa! With that attack. We're evenly matched at two Pokemon aside. Which Pokemon is coming out? 
the last Pokemon for our protagonist is the Kyogre. Something's not right here. Why hasn't that Lunala gone for Trick Room yet? Most Lunala carry Moon Guys Beam, Meteor Beam, Trick Room, and Protect. This one has already shown two of those, and Moon Guys Beam is always a given. So what's the last move? If it does have Wide Guard, I could go with Ice Beam with Kyogre in order to avoid it. But because of that Light Scream earlier from Grimmsnarl, I still wouldn't be able to knock it out. Uh, even if it has Wide Guard, I still have to risk it and go for the Origin Pulse. That's my only hope. And the opponent yet again protects with Oath Pokemon, trying to stall out the Tailwind from the protagonist. Can this Groudon and this Lunala outspeed the Kyogre and Dialga? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Ooh, and Lunala reveals the Wide Guard. This will prevent any spread moves from hitting that side of the field. It's up to Dialga to take down this Lunala. Can it hit the War of Time? Wow! Going down! Wow! They're down! They're both down! A battle as old as time itself. Groudon versus Kyogre. Origin Pulse versus Precipice Blades. I did my best. I have no regrets. Let's do this. We're coming down to the end. Both Pokemon are exhausted. The battle is coming right down to the wire. Gone! It didn't stand a chance! And there goes the battle! Feel better now? Yeah. And you know what? I learned something today. I learned that I should believe in myself a little bit more. And that it's okay for me not to win all the time. Nobody does. And as long as that I'm always trying to improve and giving it 110% at everything I do, whether that's in Pokemon or in life, that I should just be happy with whatever I achieve. Always set your bar high, but never let your defeats get you low. That's what I learned from playing VGC. And I think I'm ready to qualify for the Pokemon World Championships again. Sure, I might not become a world champion, but you know what? I'm going to have a great time while doing it. Uh, the season is over, dude. What? You won't be able to qualify again until next year. Oh.